Another term here, racemic or rhythmic mixture, we denote by using the opening parenthesis, put the plus and minus, minus put the plus and the minus together, plus on top of the minus, close parenthesis, or we can use the prefix D and L, D comma L, to show an equal mixture of the dextrotatory and the level rotatory forms. Now this kind of mixtures shows no optical rotation because they have the equal amount of each, so it just rotate the same way and it cancels off. You see it cancels off. Remember Louis Pasteur from France? So he began with a 50-50 mixture of the two chiro tartaric enantiomers and then after that he did some chemical reactions and he was able to resolve the two different enantiomers by some physical separation. Now normally in the lab when we want to separate the two enantiomers we use something called the chemical resolution. So basically the most common form is to use the acid base reaction between the rhythmic of a chiral carboxylic acid and the amine base to yield an ammonium salt. Now if you look at this example here, these two molecules are enantiomers. If we throw in an, an amine that's not chiral, we cannot resolve the product because the salt they form are also enantiomers. They have the same physical property. So there's no way to separate them. But if you throw in a base that has a chiral center, then you see this is R when we throw in the R base. So they will have a different kind of structure at the end because now the salt they are diastereomers which differ in physical property and hence can be separated. Remember what kind of physical property? Melting point, boiling point, solubility. So we always try to use a chiral base or acid to use an acid base reaction to form different kind of salts based on the diastereomeric form and then separate them. So some charts for you to help you understand this topic better. A summary now isomers are compounds that have the same chemical formula but different structures. This is the main heading. We have got two main kinds of isomer, constituent isomer, steroid isomer. For steroid isomer, they are compounds which are connected in the same manner but different geometry, 3D arrangement. For constituent isomers, they are compounds whose atoms are connected differently. Like branching, functional group isomers, positional isomers. Under steroisoma, we've got two main kinds. One is enantioma, mirror images, non-superimposable mirror image, RNS, lactic acid, and the other one is the diastereomeric form, the non-mirror images. So under these, we have got cis trans. Remember cis trans? And configurational diastereomers. For this, we can use this term on, on the ring cyclic alkenes or even in some alkenes. Thought for the day is you have to know that enantiomers of a chiral molecule have the same physical and chemical properties but will have different biological properties because of the chiral environment that it goes in. So the positive limonene, you can see from the name right, has the odor of or what I call it smell. It smells good. Oranges, very annoying. Negative limonene has the smell of lemon. So they smell different between the orange and lemon, but you see they just differ by a simple chiral center. Alright, maybe you can copy down this mind map that I have for you. So you know for steric, some people ask me, steric, what's under steric? For steric you have got torsional one tree di axial interaction and gauche interaction. All these comes under steric. For stereo chemistry, you know stereophones? Remember stereophones? You have uh, positions right around your home, different sounds, surround sound. Stereo chemistry. That's how the word comes about. Enantiomers. And the other side will be diastereomer and then the diastereomer here of course we have got the E and Z and then under it we have cis trans so this is a subset of EZ maybe I can draw you another whew, slide 
Steve Rowe, I Somer, Bay, My Map. We have got Inland Tumor. Some people see better with Venn diagram, so I just give you what I have. You can analyze it. This is the universal set, uh. subset Inland Tumor. Then we have got another subset but of course these are not overlapping mutual exclusive die and steve and then under it we have got cis trans Hi. and ez and you see these are not overlapping because they have actually no link <laughs> But back to the previous time, I need to put it below EZ because this trans is very rigid. Thank you, I'll see you next time. <laughs>